In the previous videos in this Take 5 series, we discussed the elements of TPAC and SAMR. In this video, we're going to consider why TPAC and SAMR matter in our online teaching. TPAC stands for Technological, Pedagogical, and Content Knowledge. This model for technology integration calls for teachers to truly consider the ways in which their understanding of a piece of technology intersects with and complements their pedagogy and content knowledge. SAMR stands for Substitution, Augmentation, Modification, and Redefinition. With the SAMR model, teachers evaluate the purpose and intent of a technology tool's usage to ensure that student learning is impacted in such a way that it fosters growth and deeper understanding. Why do we at NCVPS worry about TPAC and SAMR? Let's look. The NCVPS Web 2.0 tool process places the responsibility to evaluate Web 2.0 tools in the hands of our teachers. Using TPAC and SAMR, NCVPS teachers are armed with the knowledge and understanding of what makes a Web 2.0 tool the best choice for a particular lesson or assignment. Let's look at a Web 2.0 tool together. We'll use the TPAC and SAMR models to decide if this tool is the best choice for our lesson's intent. Remember, we want to impact student learning, not just replace a tool with another tool. Animoto is a well-loved resource used by many teachers and online social media users. With Animoto, we can create beautiful and quick videos using images, text, and music. First, let's consider why we might use Animoto. Perhaps our students are conducting research about the process for presidential elections. We've asked them to research to find reliable sources and report out the information they've learned. In the past, before technology was prevalent, the result may have been a poster board with bulleted information about the presidential election process. There may have been cut out pictures from a magazine that may or may not have applied directly to the topic. Now, we have the ability to enrich these presentations with Web 2.0 tools. Students can use Animoto, for example, to go beyond the bulleted list. Students will still need to conduct their research and keep track of their sources. They're still going to evaluate their choices based on the research skills we've taught them. But with Animoto or a similar Web 2.0 tool, we are enhancing this experience by requiring our students to evaluate more than just the resources they have encountered to discuss the presidential election process. With Animoto, our students must now determine the best music, visuals, and text to report their findings. They are not simply spitting out facts back to their class. They are now attempting to create an engaging video that may teach or inspire. Their choice of images and text, which is limited based on Animoto's settings, will require that our students have a discerning eye. They'll have to make the best choices to convey their messages. Additionally, with the online nature of Animoto, students can share with a larger audience in a different venue on social media, a blog, a class wiki, and more. Based on the SAMR model, modification has occurred. There is a potential new audience beyond the four walls of a classroom. Additionally, redefinition has been reached. Students have evaluated and analyzed their choices and the information in front of them. Then, they have done more than listed bulleted information because they have created a new presentation. Via the TPAC model, we've created an intersection of content and technology knowledge for our students. They are engaging in a collaboration of tools, research model, computer, animoto, publishing, in order to create the finished product. Our students have enhanced their content knowledge with practical application and integration with an authentic audience. Using TPAC and SAMR when choosing Web 2.0 tools for teaching and learning strengthens both the decision-making process and the justification for use.